Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to blend images seamlessly together like I did with this Battlefield 4 wallpaper. As you can see, there these are images here from different stock kind of images and wallpapers that I've put together to create this really seamless design. Now, this is fairly simple to do, but I thought I'd show you anyway. This is really good for photo manipulations, wallpapers, any kind of web design where you're going to need to put more than one image together. And overall, it just finishes up with a really nice sort of effect. So what I'm going to start off with is a 1080 file. Or 1920 by 1080 pixels, whatever. Um, <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the pictures I want to use onto that file. So that's one, that's two, and there's three, four, and five. Now what I'll do is I'll probably make them all this one universal size. So I'll just shrink this down like that and I'll do the same for this one too now doing this effect is fairly straightforward it's not difficult it can be a little time consuming but apart from that it works really nicely together what I'll do now is I'm just gonna crop this down uh, a wider one here Let's narrow that down okay so this is the file I'll be working with I'll be sort of like a panorama if you like and then what I'll do is I'll just move these out to how I want them to look I just need to call that down a little bit more there so what I'll do is I'll, yeah I'll move these around for the order that I want them in oh, that one's a little too small just stretch that out a bit okay so I'll probably put this one over here at the end, have that one there. Maybe have this one here. And basically what you need to do now is you need to go onto your file that you want to separate. And you need to get the pen tool, make sure the path is selected, not shape. And then all you need to do is you need to just go around your character. And basically then what you want to do is you want to right click and go and make selection. And then go into your move tool or your, um, your quick selection tool and click on refine edge. Now what it does here is it will separate your image from the background. And then you can choose to like add a smart radius which just kind of smoothens out the, the selection. Adds in some things you might have missed off and tries to do a sort of detection edge detection around what you've selected and uh, what you want to do then is go to output to new layer so now so now you have the the new layer where which you can move around so you have this new character which you've just you can just move around now without actually destroying the image now what you do then to blend it is this background layer here you just select it, go to your eraser tool, make it quite a large size, hardness on zero, and then you just erase it out like so. And you see now how they blend together almost seamlessly, and you wouldn't even notice how it's been cut out. Now obviously, there is a bit of a problem with the actual color, but the way you'd do that, of course, is you'd go onto your adjustments, and maybe you'd add a gradient map which kind of just sorts the colors out. What I like to do, if you don't know about this already, is on the gradient map settings, go into your little cog setting bit here, and load the photographic toning. These, this is a set of really cool photo filters like this, and you can see now that this adds the color you want on it, and makes the images blend together a little better. Let's um, do it as well with this picture here, and see if we can... Actually, in fact, I'll do it with this picture here the Joey Tribbiani okay so I'll get my pen tool again I'll go around not too you know not with too much effort but obviously actually the other one actually turned out quite okay uh, regardless of the fact that I went around in quite a rough 
way and didn't really spend much time on it. The uh, edge detection did quite a nice job of sorting out any mistakes I made. So that I advise using that when you're doing selections. So I'll just go around here and finish up with the face. And again, right click, make selection, OK. Then go on to your refine edge again. As you can see that I missed off of his hat, but the, the edge detection kind of sorts that out. Then I go to output, new layer again. So what you've got here is you've got your layer and select your background where obviously you've separated your main characters from. And then all you want to do really is just do the same thing with the eraser tool and just erase it out. I'm not sure what this bit is here, this line, we'll have a look where that's from. Oh, it's just the images where they've gone together. Okay, so, and basically that's it for how you blend images together. As you can see, that's already created quite a nice image there, and you, you don't lose any features. For example, this guy's gun, it hasn't been cut out, or, or you know, some people would probably merge it together by maybe erasing him out completely like that but you know it's kinda nice to have them overlap it gives it quite a nice uh, a bit of attention to detail there obviously if you want to have that erased you can that looks quite nice as well but it's completely up to you and that's basically how you make these seamless collages or, or blend your images together for photo manipulations this would work in the same way if maybe you wanted to do something with a car you wanted a car wallpaper with cars all together or anything really where you want images side by side or images on top of other images without making them look too like they've been photoshopped around and, and, and blended and erased out because that just doesn't look good um, especially for photoshop manipulations and photo manipulations you really don't want to have that bad image quality where you can see where you faded the image off you know it's nice to make the image a separate selection and then you can play around with it as you wish and erase it then however you want because then it won't really alter the underneath image for example, this guy here, we've got him now overlapping on the other images. If we were to put an image overlapping him, for example, this one here, if we were to put this over the top, like that, and then we added him again, you see the way you blend them together, you'd obviously then separate the guy here on the right from the background and then you would erase out this side here and as you can see, the guy still stays on top and that's how you make it look really, really nice. And that's basically it for this video. I hope it's been useful. I can understand maybe some bits might have lost you, but if that's a problem, then just go back to parts of the video and pause it and see if you can work it out on Photoshop yourself. Um, it's not too difficult. It's quite an easy effect, but I must admit the payoff is really good. So, as I said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe for more Photoshop videos, and of course, like my Facebook page, and follow me on Twitter for more updates about upcoming videos, competitions, and stuff like that. If you like graphics, then you really might like my graphics channel called Poster Spy. It's a collaborate channel where people can upload, and there's a Facebook page as well which shares posters from designers, and also has competitions running quite regularly at the moment. Um, there's a competition coming up where we're giving away a Kingston Mobile Lite Wireless, which Kingston sent me, and an honor clip free in one photo lens for iPhone, um, which is really cool. So all you have to do is like design a poster and submit it for your chance to win. So go check that out as well. I'll link those in the description, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video soon.